all right what's up what's up everybody welcome back to another video uh, tonight starting up uh, three condensing units uh, that go to some walk-ins that are below me so part of this remodel they built uh, a new section they built all this out um, and I think it's freezer freezer cooler so one coil per condensing unit and then there's two freezer coils in the one box I'm assuming they have it just as like a backup or something um, so we got the light set up and then I've already got this one I was supposed to do this like a week ago but I was waiting on electricians to make final terminations in the box um, but I have this hooked up I think I have the gas turned off which I do um, but this hose is going down into the building and then I have my 100 pound drums down there basically what I'm gonna be doing is turning this stuff on and then having to go downstairs turn the gas on and we're using um, that little lift right there on the side of the building to get up and down so see if we can figure it out we should have all three of them turned on tonight all right so basically the electricians landed everything for us all the breakers should be on um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is open this up check power <laughs> just like that <laughs> and then we'll check phase in here um, nothing should run yet because everything's off the KE2s that are down below that we'll look at. So really, this doesn't matter. This is for the fan cycle. This has a sensor that comes right here. So that'll cycle one of those fans. Uh, this pump down switch isn't really in play. All the controls are based off the uh, KE2. So we'll get that open and check power. All right, so we got the whip. You can see coming from downstairs and we're landing up top and so that's where we're going to check power before we flip this thing on just to make sure that we have power there. So you can see we got 1 to 2, 208, 2 to 3, and then 1 to 3. Alright, so we should be good there. We'll slap that cover back on and then turn that on and check power inside. Alright, so we know we got power there. We're going to kick this on and then make sure we're just double checking that we have power at those blocks you can see that controller lit up so check right there make sure we got 208 across all three wait 208 208 um and so basically how this thing's going to run because we have those ke2s is uh the ke2 is controlling the solenoid downstairs so basically the condenser fans and compressor is just going to run off of the low and high pressure control so the ke2 will energize the solenoid build pressure close that low pressure control kick the compressor and condenser fans on and then when it pumps down it'll obviously turn them off so this defrost clock this pump down switch is out of play um, this would be if you were running this thing off the de defrost clock so we have fancy ke2 so we're not using that uh, but you could run this thing standalone just with that defrost clock but we're going to go back downstairs and start charging this thing up and then how this is going to work with charging you see i got my charging hose uh hooked on here going down to the floor where the torpedo is and then this goes down that's the liquid line that runs downstairs the solenoid is going to be de-energized so we're going to uh put as much liquid into this high side as we can and then we'll switch it over to the low side and top off the charge um, but i'll i'll leave the solenoid de-energized the entire time fill this liquid receiver up to probably about 80 percent and then we know we'll be full charge. All right, so this is what we got right here. You can see I got two torpedoes and then four jugs. I'm estimating like 100 pounds per system. That's going up to the roof. That's where that penetration is. And then we got this box and that box. This is our freezer here. Fuck a little dark. Oh shit, lights are on. So we got two freezer coils. Definitely fucking overkill for this little ass box. I don't know if it's, it's not very big, but I'm assuming what they have is a primary and a backup. And that's how, that's how I'm gonna set them up um, when I start it up. And then in here, we just got our fucking standard, you know, oh shit, a little low boy coil. Fucking smells like fresh paint in here. So that's nice. And then I think those guys are on the other side of that door. And then over here, we got our KE2s. We've got this little power wall. Uh, solenoids are on top of the box uh, but what I want to do right now is power should be hooked up to these so we'll open these up and then start turning on power I'm gonna disconnect the solenoid wires and then um, get after it 
All right, so we got these all opened up. First thing, let's see, we're working on the freezer RCU one. So first thing is we'll, before we flip anything on, check incoming power. Fuck. Need a fucking step stool for this guy. Fucking can't reach it, dude. There we go, oh, almost there. Come on, Bubba. Get on up there. Are you fucking kidding me? Give me the fucking. So same thing, just checking across L1, L2. We got 210. One and three. And then two and three. So 208, and what I've been noticing with all of these is just transformers are all tapped wrong. Um, so that's set up for the 230 side, right? So before we turn these on, I'm actually gonna switch these transformers over so that way they're tapped on the 208 side. So we'll do that and then we'll hit that breaker. All right, so we got those taps switched and now what we're doing is just taking uh, these wires off of our solenoids. So that way when we get power to that board, the solenoids don't kick on while we're trying to charge. Um, we're gonna charge this thing pump down, and then once we got the charge dialed in, then we'll open it up. I right, got those disconnected, now we're just gonna start flipping these breakers on. All of them? So, just the EVAT fan, so these two. For our EVAT fan and our control. The small one's the control, which that stuff should all start lighting up, which it is, and then that one's just for our fans. And then, um, in here we have, for all the coils we have these breakers um actually that freezer one we are going to need to defrost on we got our disconnects for our fans and our heaters in here so those are already on um, so once those controllers get powered up these things should be kicking on and then the other thing we need to do is we have these fan cycle controls obviously the fans aren't going to run right now because it's hot um, so we have it's fucking close. We have our one and two, one and two. So the one's our phase coming in, the two's our close. So all I'm gonna do is just jump these together right now. I just wanna see these fans run. Um, and then once we get done charging it and starting it up, then I'll put that back how it's supposed to be and set this. All right, so now we got fans on. All the fans are running. Uh, we got power to that board. All right, power to the board. I've got the solenoid disconnected, so our solenoid on top of the box is de-energized. So now we are good to start charging this thing up. So come over here. I have all the hoses and everything upstairs closed, so all I'm gonna do is just fucking open this right here and then go up on the roof, purge it at the roof, and start dumping it in. All right, we got the refrigerant turned on downstairs. Downstairs, downstairs, so purge it up here. All right, and now we're just gonna let it rip until it doesn't. And then we're gonna be occasionally checking that receiver. I doubt we'll put the full charge in uh, before we have to go in the suction. But yeah, we're just gonna let it run and then see how much it takes. Okay, so we put all that we could put uh, into the liquid side. Uh, we put about 16 pounds, it won't take any more. So I've got this set up over here to start going in the suction and then we're just gonna start bleeding it into the suction to top off our charge. So. We got the tank turned off downstairs. Just gotta empty what's in this hose. Yeah, and then we got it hooked up over here. You wanna tell them to turn that tank on? Just yell it, dude. Tell him, give him another shot. Give him another shot. So we're gonna hook this up here. I got a guy downstairs turning that tank back on. Make sure we bleed it, right? And then once we start giving her some pressure, this compressor should kick on. So I'm just gonna do this very slowly. Building up pressure. And right now we're just gonna be cycling off that low pressure control. All right, so we got compressors kicking on. I'm just barely bleeding that liquid in there because I don't wanna flood this compressor. All right, we're just gonna let it go. Oh, gotta tighten that guy up, huh? We're just gonna let it go until we get to about 80% receiver. Once we're at 80%, that's the max charge the system can take. We'll plug that solenoid back in and let it run. But for right now, we're just gonna uh, uh, charge this thing up. All right, so we got this thing all charged up. You see her pushing a little liquid in there. 
uh, marked it right here with my Sharpie. Usually I have a paint pen. I'll have to get a paint pen on it, but we got it about right there. It's pretty decent receiver level. Um, so all we got to do now is just go back downstairs, hook up that solenoid and let it run. Watch it come down the temp. All right, let's see how much. So we took 57 pounds. All right, so I definitely have more than what we need, which is fine. So what we need to do over here is need to program this, but first we're gonna turn off power and then hook up those solenoid wires. That way we can get that thing running. And then basically just watch it run, check all the, the measurements and everything and fucking call it a night. Okay, we got this thing all programmed. Got the solenoid wired back in. Um, everything's running. I've already checked defrost. And you can see everything's running in here. I hear it feeding. Um, just gotta go back up on the roof and check to make sure that the compressor's not short cycling or anything. All right, so I let this thing run overnight. It's at negative six, it was at negative eight when I got here, uh, which is set point. Um, I already checked superheat inside the box. I checked rack or compressor superheat on the roof, made sure the pressure controls were all set. Um, so I think that's it for this one. You can see we also got this box running last night and then tonight, oh shit, tonight I'm doing that one. So that's it for this video as always. I appreciate the support. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, have a good one. Later.